The research team here tells me that long before TikTok became the primary narrative form on the planet, there was apparently something called movies. Am I saying that right? And my first guest is very, very good at them, and he still has lots of followers. I'm delighted to have him here tonight. Please welcome the great Ben Stiller. Hi there. Hi. How are you? How's it I'm going? I'm great. It's good. I'm good. Very, How are you? I'm, impressed. I'm good. I'm impressed you're behind a desk because everybody's been at home, and I feel like these shows haven't been real. Like I feel like this doesn't necessarily count. I have nothing to promote. I haven't been doing anything for months. But you're behind a desk in a real studio in L.A., which is very impressive. I'm actually in L.A. They, they took me out of New York, where things are pretty good, into a hot spot. Yeah, that's what they did. It, it, that's great, because there are no desks in New York. There's a huge <laughs> desk shortage right now. I think I'm just want to say congratulations. How exciting is it? It's exciting for me to see you hosting this show. It's really it's like, exciting. I mean, you are my yeah, first guest yeah. ever, and um, I, it's I'm, I'm just honored. amazing to have you. I'm honored, and I think for a lot of people watching, it's probably the first time they're hearing your voice. Yeah, they expect to hear a brash, very masculine voice coming out of this face. Your voice is much more melodious and, and soothing and, uh, and not divisive. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, I hear that you are a, a fan of my TikToks. I am. I am. And you're right. Before back before the TikToks, I was I, I did uh, do movies, but uh, I don't even understand what TikTok is, other than I know it's a medium in which images are are put out into the world. Have you ever thought about maybe giving it a try? I think I could. I mean, I think I could. You know, I I would give it a shot sometime. Just to, you know. Well, why don't you give it a shot? Yeah. All right, I'll give it a shot. You you got some uh, some yeah. Trump audio. Yeah. I, Okay. We found we found something that you could try maybe for our audience. Bing bing bong bong bing bing bing. You know what that is, right? Okay. Yeah. I do know what that is. Yeah. What, what is that? Yeah. What What am I thinking there? Um, I think it's kind of fun. I think it's kind of um, you're talking about the economy and then like a, a social justice. Really, that's kind of what's okay. going on in that in that clip. Um, so through those bings and those bongs, that's really what you're trying to emote. So just do it all in your face. Your eyes are very important. It's like a silent film. You're Charlie Chaplin. Okay. Who's that? Uh, this guy, right. I think. Go, yeah. go for it. All right. Here we go. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. You know what that is, right? <laughs> I feel Excellent. like, I don't know if I'm nailing it. I feel like you have a special talent and you somehow channel something. What I, what I like about what you do is that you give him so much more actual weight to what you're saying. You're actually, you're actually thinking, because you do have a subtext. And I feel like he doesn't have a subtext. Right. <laughs> he doesn't point. have a subtext. But right. it's kind of fun. Like when he sounds angry, sometimes it's out of fear because he doesn't actually know what he's talking about. Or maybe he's confused. And so I like to bring that to the surface sometimes. But I think it's also just interesting to see his words coming out of someone else's face. It is. And, and your face especially has been very therapeutic for the nation. So thank you. Thank you so much. That. So uh, I hear that you've been quarantining with two teenage kids. Yes, it's been. Um, I, I, when, when it started, I had no gray hair. That's how long it's been going on. And it's been, wow. uh, it's been a very, um, it's been a great experience. You know, I think for a lot of people, for families, it's been a really great experience where people are you know, you're spending so much more time together. And then, of course, the flip side is you're spending so much more time together and it, it gets a little insane sometimes. But we've been, I think, doing really well as a family. And uh, we've been watching a lot of movies, which I think, you know, people are doing if you're, you know, if you're into movies. It's been fun for me to be able to have a chance to uh, show them movies that they haven't seen that I mm -hmm. think they should see that I've been wanting to, to show them. And then for me, also seeing movies that I never saw and, you know, because like, I've missed some big ones along the way. Um, nice. Like, yeah, like Sound of Music, West Side Story. Never You'd saw never sneakers. seen Sound of Music? Sound of Music I'd never seen. I knew that it was Julie Andrews on top of a mountain and singing, and I knew it was a musical. I had no idea there were Nazis. There are so many Nazis, yeah. Yeah, and thankfully they get away from them. <laughs> um, so I have to ask, have you been able to show uh, your kids some of your movies? It's gotten down to that where it's because 
I've never, I've never been the one like, hey, look at this, because I've been wanting them to want to see them, and that, that I think the quarantine has finally, you know, it's just basically there are no other options. So uh, yeah, we were, uh, we all watched. Uh, well, not my son finally saw Tropic Thunder, which was, and he's 15, so that was, that was a little bit. I was a little nervous, but he seemed to really like it, which I was happy That's about. That's one of my favorite films ever. Um, so I wanted to ask you about your work with the UN, um, and, uh, refugees. I know that's something that's really important to you. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people feel kind of helpless with so much going on in the world and, and like, what can I do? How can I help? And so I would love to hear more about your work with them and what your priorities are there. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I've been a goodwill ambassador with the UN Refugee Agency, which basically is helping displaced people all over the world and they're, are, probably about uh, almost 80 million uh, all over the world, people who have been driven from their homes due to war or um, you know, circumstances beyond their control. And so right now, with what's going on with everybody at home, it's so tough. But for, um, for these refugees and people who aren't able to uh, sometimes social distance or have access to clean water and soap, uh, it's a particularly vulnerable time. So the refugee agency, UN Refugee Agency, is doing work to get to get help to those people, and um, which is, uh, you know, is always challenging. Right now, there was just that explosion in Beirut, and there's uh, there's a lot of need there right now. Um, and I visited places like that where, you know, you just meet people who really are, besides being from a different culture, they have a, you know, they're very similar to you and I in that they have families, they want to they want to work, they want to be with their kids, and they want to just have a good life. And in that way, um, you know, that's really they they also ultimately want to go home. And they can't. So, uh, you know, I think it's more about awareness and people just sort of kind of opening up their mind to the idea, uh, you know, refugees are are human beings and uh, they also are so additive to communities. And I think you guys have um, a link for uh, if, if people want to get in touch and um, and donate to it. I think it's, uh, you know, just in your attitude of, towards people, I think that's the biggest thing and just being open to it. And I think right now, you know, at a time where there's a lot of divisive rhetoric, I think it's really important to... Uh, to hear that message. Yeah, I agree. And I think that your work highlights that we're all connected. You know, if, if we can help them, that helps us too. So I appreciate you and I appreciate your time and everything that you're doing. And I wish I could talk to you for another hour, but maybe some other time. When we come back, music from Holly Humberstone.